Howdy from MC Family Homestead. A little update on this driveway. <clears throat> Getting it cleared out a little bit more. You just got to get it over that way some more so the cabin can make it down through here. We got uh, some stumps to cut down and burn out. As long as they are ground level, that's all that matters so the cabin can make over the tops of them. And uh, make it around this curve. All this, the stumps here and that's going to be cut up for firewood. I'm going to, we're going to bring up the goats, <clears throat> the goat fence and everything and place it all around through here so they can eat all that grass down and, and brush and stuff. So where the house, the cabin's going to go. And they got about four weeks to get all this done. And then eventually they're going to have to cut all this back too, all the way up through here. So there's going to be another cabin coming through here, going up at another spot over on up the hill here. So it means a lot more uh, wood burn, uh, stump burning and stuff like that, clearing out. But it's got to be done. I got this water tank. Got strapped in my old truck here. And uh, it's 330 gallons, but I can't haul but 175 or close to 200 it's the truck just won't handle anymore but it, it's clear cleaner water the uh, fire department close by here give it give us the water free for the animals and I just drain it off drain it out of here and go in there and I get the bucket out and run it over here to the animals uh, it helps out it hasn't rained here in 30 days so kind of dry around here and I found out one thing about the garden it's going pretty good but could be better we uh, thought it was good to get some cheaper compost but it was coffee compost and uh, we figured out through uh, some research that some plants just don't like that coffee compost I guess it's too uh, acidic there's the goats get, get out get out Come here, come here. Red, hold on. All right, <laughs> got Red out of here. He's like following, following me around everywhere. The goats are following me too. I think they got some, I got something for them. But some stuff is still doing pretty good, other stuff isn't. I'm about ready to pick some green beans now. I have to water them every evening because it ain't gonna rain. It's supposed to rain tomorrow, but we'll see. It's always uh, like a 30% chance or something like that. But these uh, purple beans are doing pretty good. They seem to like the soil. Tomatoes are starting to do pretty well. I got one tomato on it so far. And I watered the potatoes every day, but they're just not making it or something, or they're done growing or something. I'm just letting them go. And then the goats ate off the top of the potato plants there, had them moving away from the fence. We thought they wouldn't eat potatoes, the greens off the potatoes, because they're poisonous, but. <laughs> It doesn't seem to bother them. But we're going to get a couple loads of uh, two-year-old horse manure. Bring it in here. and Once we get all the plants picked out of here and incorporate it into what's here already existing here. So hopefully it'll be better for the plants. Because uh, I think next month, next month we're going to be getting ready to plant the uh, fall, fall garden. And we gotta get better than this. Uh, that's our makeshift shed. Got our stuff in it from the house in it. So it'll be uh, storage until the cabin gets here and gets built. Talk to you in a little bit. Now, like I said before, this is gonna be the extended part of the garden. So we're gonna have to clean this up pretty good. And, uh, Hopefully it's tillable, or get a tiller in here or something to till it up. Get all the stumps and the wood debris burn up. We need old wood to burn the stumps. The little man's getting pretty big right there. Red, leave, leave the goats alone. They're gonna, butt, they're gonna butt you in the side. But it seems to be working out with the goats. They do a pretty good job of cleanup. 
It is what it is. Talk to y'all later. Well, if you remember a video two or two ago, I was talking about a neighbor down the road give us some free lumber. But there was a storm that went through uh, about not quite a month ago, and about 15 miles up the road, it tore out the garage and uh, sheds and stuff like that. And we just happened to stop and see what they're going to do with the, the old debris. They give it all to us for free, and all this lumber we got here, and we got all the tin the tin from the building and everything. Some of it's been up, but it's still usable. I'm uh, putting some of it on the chicken coop over there. I worked a little bit on it. I still need a few other materials, but uh, the tin come in handy. Next thing is getting this boxed in here on the ends over there, right here and uh, get a, the fence on it. And we only do so much at a time. Got to wait on material, stuff like that. It's all good. But you never give, you never say no to free. <laughs> I don't care what it looks like, you make use out of it somewhere. Y'all have a good day.